So let's go a little bit into now what what actually happened in the awakening process. What what did we recognize and how did that make a difference? How did that shift things for us? Uh, Subhaga, would you like to start us off on, on that inquiry? Yes. Uh, you know, for me, I came into, so the process of awakening, that's a key, process is such a key word. You know, there's a, there's a belief that it is a, an attainable goal, a product that we, will, we can get somehow, this awakening, I'm going to get my awakening. Um, because I came in to my awakening um, as a really fully transcendent experience uh, where I was, there was no separation, there were no boundaries, whatever I, whatever I looked at, I was, <laughs> whatever I saw, I was in some innate way. And I'm talking about really, you know, like a car, a plane, a bird. Uh, I remember taking my dog for a walk and she was on one of those retractable leashes and it was just like, whoa, there I go. I'm on this like thing on a string, you know, it was very, very freaky uh, and wonderful and beautiful. And I could just kind of drop into that transcendent place and look around and look at the sky. And it was like, ah, everything I'd ever dreamed of. <laughs> And then I had my confirmation conversation, uh, which was, you know, really opened up a portal to fear because I could not answer the question, uh, how have you experienced the core wound? And boy, it was like, oh, there it is. <laughs> so, you know, what Rod was saying about fear, you know, fear is such a, it's such a, an innate part of our human experience. It's a survival strategy. We feel fear and then it's, it's acted upon by all of our conditioning and then the patterns and just the world at large. So for me, the process was really moving through, you know, this kind of long honeymoon of a few months of being really transcendent, but at the same time feeling like, oh, I'd landed somewhere, that there, I'd found a thing, a change that was permanent. You know, it was like someone had wiped a level of grime, a layer of grime off the my, my universal windshield, you know, and see things really clearly. But the trust piece was really slow to come about for me. And it was really, I had a realization, maybe a year after my second, my, my second birth, because I still think of as my second birth, because it was an event of bringing me forward, was a realization in A Course with Samuel that there was nothing that was not God. That's how it came to me. There was nothing that was not God. And we were really studying a lot of shadow stuff in this particular course, but it was like suddenly everything opened up and I found, oh, you know, this is the trust. You know, whatever's happening is happening. And there's something in it, but it's not good or bad. You know, we can feel compassion. We feel fear we feel anger but it's it's what is you know and it was like after years of this you know buddhism and hinduism and you know this too shall pass and all this kind of stuff which were just words i suddenly landed in this place of realization that there's nothing that is not being ever and that just gave me so much room to really exhale and expand and drop in and feel my fears and reveal my secrets and really achieve a, a greater sense of mutuality and, and really start living, you know, my, my whole being realization. So that's probably enough for now. Mm, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much, Subhaga. It's a very visceral uh, description. Uh, that's great. Thank you. Sometimes really hard to put into words uh, this experience, and um, so I'm just hoping you know those of you that are listening are are taking the words into your bodies and beings, and not just trying to figure out what um, these teachers are sharing, but just to feel to the extent you can their experience in your own body and your whole whole being, listening as you take this conversation in because words start failing at this point. <laughs> Thank you, Subhaga. <laughs>